Hi, in this lecture I am going to talk about the quadratic spline interpolation. First of all, let me write the quadratic spline. Quadratic splines. Now, let me draw the quadratic spline. Let me draw an, a simple example to show the quadratic splines like this. The quadratic splines is like this. Yeah, this is a, a, a the endpoint at x equal to zero. This is b a, x n. Let me call it x n, uh, any number uh, uh, equal to b, the last number. Yeah, this is called. Let me write it. Let me use another color. These two points, these two points are called uh, endpoints. Endpoints. Uh, endpoint one, the first endpoint, and the 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 the, the second endpoint. Yeah. And uh, let me use another color. Uh, these points which is like this, these points and this one, this one, and this one this point and this point this point are called interior interior nuts inside uh, the graph, yeah inside, and the uh, the the the, uh, the endpoints is outside, which is the two two endpoints. Yeah, we have two endpoints: the first endpoint and the second one. The first, and this is the second one. Endpoint. Endpoints. Yeah. Now let me use another color, like this one. Okay. Uh, the the stuff we use in the quadratic splines we use. And uh, let me use Q and S means a quadratic spline. In the quadratic spline, we use the general or the standard general. So, and um, is, let me use eraser, which is this one. Yeah. We use the general general. Or standard, standard form uh, of the quadratic function or equation, which is like this: f of i, f uh, sorry, f i of x equal to a i x squared plus b i square uh, x plus c i uh, where i is ze uh, zero uh, sorry zero uh, yeah zero one two three uh, till n any number from zero to the n in this case uh, therefore this is x one x two and so on uh, let me write uh, the standard. Use the standard. This is standard uh, form. A standard form of the quadratic uh, function. This is f1. This is f0 because we have zero. And that. Let me call it f0 equal to the a0x square plus b0x plus c0. And let me write the second one, which is f1. F1 equal to a1x square plus b1x plus C, one, and the third one, and so on, like this, in the same form. Uh, yeah, A3, X squared, plus B3, plus uh, B3X, plus C3, yeah, and so on. We continue in the same pattern. Okay. Now, uh, according to the general uh, form of the quadratic spline, 
equation used in this uh, quadrix prime uh, we have we have 3 and a uh, coefficient coefficient yeah Three coefficients or unknowns, uh, which are a, a i and b i and c i, and the value, therefore, to find this coefficient, uh, the value. The value, uh, the value of adjacent, adjacent polynomial, adjacent polynomials must be, must be equal to the interior max. Interior, interior. Nuts. Focus on this statement. Therefore, uh, i minus one times x uh, i minus one square in general this plus b i minus one uh, times x i minus one plus c i minus one equal to the f of x i minus 1 and uh, this is square b minus 1 and so on where i is 0 1 2 and so on yeah now let me give you an example about the quadratic splines let me write example example according to the given to the given data uh, sorry given table of data let me use eraser eraser yeah according to the given table table of data Uh, construct construct uh, a quadratic quadratic spline and call it uh, s of x uh, in, and approximate f of 2 using the quadratic spline in this question. Let me first write uh, the table of data. This is x. This is f of x. And now we have minus 2 and 0, 0 and 3, and uh, 1 and 1, and 3 and 2, and 2. Yeah. Now we need to draw the graph to see the quadratic splines let me draw the graph draw the graph yeah okay let me make it clear okay now we have this uh, the first point is minus two the first point minus two and zero second point zero and three and the uh, third point one and one and the, the third, fourth point three and two now you construct that uh, minus two and the uh, zero uh, this point is here minus two and zero 
uh, and the second point zero and three zero and three is here zero and three and the third point which is one and one one and one here almost one and one and the fourth point which is three and two three and two is here three and two three and two is here Three, this is three and two. Yeah, now let me use another color. We connect the points. Yeah. Uh, then let me name the function. Function one. Uh, f. Uh, let me use function f zero. F zero. Yeah. Equal. Let me clear it. Okay. Uh, f zero a zero x square plus b zero x plus c zero yeah and the second function which is f one equal to a one x square plus b one x plus c one and the third one which is f two equal to a two x square plus b two x plus c two now now I can use the uh, can I can open a Mable 11 uh, wa classic worksheet. Now let me open th this Mable 11 classic worksheet and start coding. Now let me write the title. Let me zoom in. Zoom in. Yeah. Use the zoom in. Yeah. Quadratic. Let me write the write the name lecture lecture 4.2 quadratic spline interpolation okay <coughs> let me click on this yeah and start coding first of all we write the function First function f of zero x a zero we have let me read paint the slide yeah. we have a zero x we have a zero x squared plus b zero plus c zero and the second function a one x plus b one x plus c one and the third one a two x squared plus b two x plus c two let me go to the uh, Mabel worksheet uh, multiply x plus b0 times x now this is x square to the power 2 plus b0x plus c0 and click enter yeah the same copy and paste it and it change the number one one and one and one and you click enter don't forget the semicolon and paste it and change the number a uh, two and two and two and two okay now we are done with the uh, functions now let me use the text the first the first and the first and second uh, functions equal at the this is the second step step one write the function step two the first uh, and the second functions equal at the interior 
nuts cherry nuts now let me use the code okay now let me name it uh, equation one eq one then if uh, in the interior nuts equal at the interior nuts let me let me go to the slide the first interior nuts uh, we have two interior nuts this is the first interior nut we have interior nut one and the second interior nut interior nut two this is the first one and this is the second interior nut with the F0 and F1 and the second interior nut with the F1 and F2 the first one is 0, 3 and the second one is 1, 1 therefore let me write the following code F0 F0 of 0 equal to 3 then semicolon so, okay now we have C0 equal to 3 